Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Quick video today, and I want to aim this video towards uh, some of you anti-gunners out there. I've been getting a whole lot of comments and PMs, uh, surprisingly enough PMs, uh, from a lot of anti-gunners lately on a lot of my pro-gun videos that talk about AR-15s and that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I'm kind of surprised. I, I guess maybe with some of the stuff that's going on in places uh, like New York and California where they've already got magazine restrictions and they're trying to, to uh, put forth new bills to restrict magazine capacity even more, I guess it's just brought some people out of the woodwork. I'm not sure. Usually they don't send me PMs. They just leave a comment and then run away. But I want to address some of the comments I've been getting. One of them, uh, having to do, obviously, with uh, magazine capacity, is that basically, hey, look, we don't want to restrict your Second Amendment rights. Uh, you know, we don't care if you have an AR-15 or AK-47 or whatever it is, but you shouldn't be allowed to have 30 rounds. There's no reason to have that, um, and that's above and beyond the firearm. So I just want to put this out there, guys. Okay, the AR-15, the M16, M4, um, AK-47, these were all designed with a 30-round magazine in mind. It's part of the design of the firearm. Okay? Just because you can remove it from the firearm doesn't mean that it's not a part of the design. So you cannot sit there and tell me that I can have this firearm, but that I can't have all of it as it was designed to be. It's like saying that, well, you know, the chamber of a musket, uh, that, that, that's above and beyond the design. Or the cylinder on a revolver, well, that's not part of the design. Or, or the, the, the internal box magazine of a bolt-action rifle or the tube on a, on a lever action rifle. Saying these things are not part of the design doesn't make any sense because they are. Just because you can remove this one to load it easier does not mean that it's not part of the design of the rifle. So that argument holds no weight, period. Stop putting it out there. It's ridiculous. Now the other thing I hear so much about is that how these are so inherently evil because they cause so much death and destruction and damage. Well, I want to point out, okay, there are tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of these magazines out there in circulation among the population in this country alone, okay? Millions of them, okay? In everyday citizens' hands where they go to the range or they put them in their self-defense gun or whatever, okay? Yet, less than 1% of gun crimes in this country are committed with anything that can even take a 30-round magazine. So how can you say it's such a horrible criminal epidemic, that these are so dangerous, so inherently evil, that just by having one, you're more likely to go out and kill someone. When statistics prove otherwise, knives, hammers, baseball bats, fists kill more people every year than these do. It's just a fact. So what I really want to know, guys, and this is, this is a genuine, honest question to anti-gunners out there, what is it about these things that scares you so much? Why are you so upset? Why are you so dead set on, on getting rid of these when statistically they cause almost negligible harm compared to all the other crimes out there? I mean, they're part of the design of the firearm, and of course, a lot of you even recognize we do have the right to own firearms. So genuine question, guys, all you anti-gunners out there, what is it about this that pisses you off so much? 